Following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here where anything in here, then uh, then the series here will converge. Uh, but that on a half, uh, this value here will be equal to one. So when it comes to the ratio test, if if this thing here equals one, then it's inconclusive. That on negative a half, this thing here will be equal to one, which will be again inconclusive. So we need to manually check negative a half and a half. So let's look at negative a half first. So when when x is negative a half, when x is negative a half, we go, we are going to put it into our our original series. So put it into here. That will then give us this thing here. So now tidy this thing up. Um, tidy this thing up. Uh, if you look at this bit here, um, remember if uh, if I were to give you this, you would do three times two, three times three, three times four. So uh, so that would then give you this. Well. The, the point here is that th with this, you can just get this times this times this. Um, two times, well, multiply all three together. That will then give you, that will give you one. So this whole thing here is going to be one to the power of n. Well, one to the power of where n is just one. So this whole thing here, when, uh, this whole thing here will be one over, one over, uh, uh, square root of n plus one. So now, now it really boils us, it really boils down to us trying to determine if this series will converge or, or if it will diverge. Um, th this is not an alternating, uh, alternating series. This is just, it's always positive. It's not alter, it's not alternating. So we can't use the alternating series test. So we, uh, we are going to use the, uh, the limit comparison test. So we are trying to determine if this will converge or if this will diverge. So as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity, this thing here will act as one over root n. So so make this comparison, compare this with this. So the limits comparison test, we always need to compare one thing to another thing. We know nothing about a n. We know nothing about this, but we do know something about this. Um, remember, um, this is really x to the power. Of, uh, sorry, this is really one over n to the power of a half. We know that this thing here is going to diverge. We've seen this many times. Uh, this thing here diverge, uh, p, p series. Um, uh, well, th 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 this thing here is going to diverge. So, um, so hang on, let me think. So, uh, so we, with the limits comparison test, we always need to compute this value here. So computing that value, meaning get, get a n, get a n divided by uh, bn divided by bn. So with the limits comparison test, we always need to compute this value here. So this value here, computer, uh, th this will be your an, and this will be your the reciprocal of of bn. So uh, so basically, we are just computing this value here. So now tidy this up. That will then give you this. So now as n heads towards infinity, it, it, it will be one. So going back here, going back here, uh, when, when it, when, when this value here equals one, well, you can see that one is greater than, than zero. So this is our scenario as, as opposed to these two. Okay. As opposed to these two. So, uh, so when you're in this scenario, it says that the two series will act in, will, will act on par with each other. So if this converge, this will also converge. If this diverge, then this diverge. So, uh, well, if, if you look at this here, this series, we know something about this series. We know it's going to diverge. Therefore, this thing here will diverge. Okay. So, so when, when x equals negative, uh, negative a half, uh, this thing here is going to diverge. Okay. So now we need to check for when, um, uh, so, uh, and so, 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 so far, anything in between here, we know this is going to converge. Dead on, dead on a half, uh, that on a half, that on a half, uh, this thing here, we, we've just worked out that it's gonna, it's going to diverge. That on a half is going to diverge. So we can't, we can't fill this in. We have to leave this blank. So, so far, so, yeah, so this, that, that on a half is going to di diverge. Now we need to check for that on a half. So when x equals a half, so when x equals a half, we've got to put it into here. So, uh, so that will then give us this. And then, uh, and then multiply these three together. That will give you negative one. Now this here is an alternating series. So an alternating series, 
we, uh, we need to use the alternating series test. So with the alternating series test, it says that extract your UN. So discard the, uh, the alternating part. So discard the alternating part and then just extract your UN. This is your UN here. Make sure all the UNs are positive. So, so we need to check this. Make sure that all the UNs are positive. Or well, N is moving from 1 to infinity. So this will always be positive. So condition 1 has been satisfied. Um, check number 3. Um, make sure that it's, uh, it's going to 0. Um, well, as N heads towards infinity, this thing here you can see is going to 0. So condition 3 has been met. Uh, now make sure that the uh, make sure that it's non-increasing. So, uh, so looking at this, if, if you if you compare this with uh, with with one over the next term would be would be n the next term would be n plus one, uh, and then so, so 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 the next term would be n plus one, and then you've got your your extra one here, so plus an extra one, and then if you tidy this up, it will become one over uh, n plus 2. Now now the, the denominator here will be bigger than this denominator here. So the next term will always be less than this term. If you want to, you uh, you can turn it into a function and then differentiate it and look at the derivative. If the derivative is always negative, then it's um, non... well, then, then, you, then you know it's going downhill. Well, this thing here, well, condition 2 has been met. We've done this many times. You should, you should know this. So, um, so 1, 3 and 2 have been met. Therefore, this this will converge. Okay, so so when x when x equals positive a half, our series will converge. So what we've, what we've got so far is this. Uh, we 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 were trying to determine the um, the domain for this function. Anything in between here is going to converge. Uh, when it's a half, this thing here will will equal one, which will be uh, which will be inconclusive, so we need to check it manually. Well, checking it manually tells us that this thing here will converge. Uh, so, so therefore, we, we do need to fill this bit in. And then a half, we did it earlier. Um, this thing here will diverge when it's a half, so we have to leave it blank. We have to leave it blank. So, so anything in between here, the, uh, the series will converge. This dead on a half, it will converge. Uh, negative half, it will diverge. So, uh, so this is our domain here. Okay, so, so you can see that the radius of convergence here is a half. The radius of convergence is a half and is centered at zero. Okay? So, so this is your, your domain here for this function.